Hi, my name is Ansu. I'm from South Africa. Now we are at the puppet show with the other people who's going to do the puppets. Come, let's go and have a little word with the others. Can Hi. I know your name? Claudia. Okay. Um, the first question, how do you actually do or create a puppet? Um, actually, first I start thinking about a story or something I want to tell people about, so some one topic or something. And then I think about the characters I want to have in this story, and then I think about one particular character, and then I start to build it without any uh, drawings first, so I don't have... A, Scribble or something? <laughs> How long did it take you to do this puppet? Um, this one, it, I think it took me about two months until it was really ready. What kind of material do you need to do your puppets? Okay, I really like to do puppets with foam rubber and I also like paper. I like to work with paper mache and also a lot of other materials, but I try to find them while building the puppets. Yeah. When you heard about this workshop, how did you react? Yeah, I was quite quite hap happy and optimistic about the workshop. Since I'm a puppet fan since years, I uh, thought that's my final chance to do it. Uh, here is the end of our workshop. Thank you to everyone. Thank you. I'm Sebastian and I'm standing here uh, on the parkour running and I will do an interview now with Michi. Okay, um, what is parkour running? Um, yeah, first you gotta uh, distinguish between parkour and free running. Mm -hmm. uh, parkour is the art of movement, of um, uh, fast and economical movement. Mm -hmm. You run from point A to point B as the in the fastest and ec most economic way possible. <laughs> what was your funniest experience with the parkour running? Funniest experience? <laughs> okay. Uh, maybe when uh, we got uh, chased by the cops when we were shooting a video. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we were uh, shooting on a rooftop and um, the cops didn't know we have a permission. And so <laughs> turned out to be quite funny. <laughs> Hello guys, um, my name is Aviwe and um, I'm with the Video Journalism Group and um, I'm with the Hip Hop. Uh, so we came to see the Hip Hop dancers and um, let's go and see. How long have you been dancing? I started you... very young when I was about seven or eight years old with ballet, yeah. like uh, most uh, girls. And um, then I started uh, with uh, modern dance and contemporary, I really like contemporary dance. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, five years ago I started with hip hop. There are no guys, why is it that? Um, well, for me personally, I have to say it's, it's a pity uh, that we don't have uh, boys in this workshop, uh, but uh, it's in Austria, boys um, don't dance so much. There are uh, guys uh, that are dancing and they are really good. I, I know a lot of them, um, but most of the guys here in Austria are break dancing. Can you teach me a dance move, just one dance move? before we apart. And up, and lock. And points. So camera, okay. and points.
Yo, my name is Tobella Matthew and I'm in Austria in St. Paulton and I'm here to see the beatboxing crew. Beatboxing, well at least the way that we see it, is like trying to add new sounds and find new sounds that you have within you and you just learn ways of how to express it in a rhythmical way. Can you get injuries by beatboxing? Yes, there's one sound, there's the bass drum. It comes from the lips. It's like... You press the lips with the big P, P. And there was last time, he did it so much that he got a crack in his lips. Yeah. Last year we had a gig, uh, uh, open air gig, and it was in January, January I think, and it had uh, minus. minus 11 degrees, so I think it's possible also uh, at the Antarctic. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so my peeps, that was it. See you after the beat.